Uh, I just thought that, you know, he was beautiful. No one really knows what exactly happened to him. He got into something toxic and ingested it. We were in no way looking to adopt another animal. He immediately bonded with my daughter and would cry so bad when she would leave to go to work or to school. He sleeps in her room and he thinks that's his room and he doesn't want the other dogs in there. He just like always like wants to be around me. Like he's really clean. I thought he was more delicate than he was. I worried constantly about him getting hurt or if whether or not he was okay. Part of his tongue is, is missing and his, his mouth. You know, he proved to us very quickly that he is just fine. He eats normally, he eats normal food. All four of them will get into a tug of war battle together. Our lab fender will lay on his back and Felix will groom him. He will, you know, clean his ears and his teeth. At Christmas time, he unwrapped every present under our tree. Everybody that comes in our house now knows that all food has to be put up, has to be locked away. It can't be left out on any surface because he can and we'll get to it. I've come home before and all of the pillows were just on the ground, all in like a circle on the ground, like they were just having a party. He had a lot of fun, so I kind of hate to take that from him. <laughs> he kind of rules the roost. None of the other dogs, like, even thought about getting on the counter before he came around. Now they want to do that. He, he definitely inspires them to uh, get a little devious. I have had a couple of people with the opposite reaction where they're mean and, you know, hateful towards his looks and why would you want a dog like that? I definitely let them know that he's perfect and he's part of our family. He loves on you. He comes and lays his head on your shoulder. He's grateful.